Color guard. Parade of the color. to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which stands one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Right. Sorry. Carry. Colors. Ready. Cut. Right. Face. Forward. March. Thank you. I really appreciate seeing you all here tonight to honor many of our seniors at JBHS from the class of 2023. Before we start giving out awards, I just want to take a moment to acknowledge the work and effort that they have put in during their time here. And we are so excited to celebrate with them tonight. I want to also thank you for coming out, parents, and for your support over the last four years. You have made it possible for your students to be sitting in these chairs tonight. So give yourselves a nice round of applause. Thank you, parents, for your support. Students, we're very excited to be here with you, standing with you, and honoring you tonight. Congratulations on all your hard work. And without further ado, we're going to start. Good evening, everyone. Oh my god, I sound weird. <laughs> um, so my name is Ms. Vargas. I am. I work with um, Pac Inc, a college advising program. Um, definitely, I help mostly all the seniors, but I also did have a small cohort um, that I work with specifically. So I'll give you guys some awards for completion of the program.
Sterling Henderson.
finally, we have Isabel Romo Orozco. I'm so sorry, Vidali Romo Orozco. I'm so sorry, Vidali. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is actually Staff Sergeant Esparza, and I am the Marine Representative for Jesse Beto High School. Today, I'm honored to have the privilege to recognize a few students for their hard work. Um, now, I do have an accent, so if I mess up any names, I apologize in advance. As you may know, the Marine Corps is dedicated to excellence in all that we do, whether in the classroom, at work, or in everyday life. And every year, we ask the counselors and the faculty to nominate students who exemplify these qualities and traits to propel individual to achievement in the highest. The first award is the Distinguished Athlete Award. It is presented to those individuals that have displayed leadership, dependability, and confidence on and off the field and have inspired everyone through their athletic performance. Throughout the school year, they have demonstrated leadership, initiative, and physical drive all of which are physical marine-like qualities that Marines can play on a daily basis. It is my pleasure to present this award to to Shami Parker and Banya Pau Pau. For the second award tonight, the Scholastic Excellence Award, it is presented to those that have demonstrated self-discipline and dedication through academic achievement performance all year long. Many scholars before you have inspired change in the world, contributing to the success of mankind, while at times facing adversity and darkness. In keeping with these values, the Marine Corps Relentless List displays to our nation in order to make it a better place. It is a pleasure to present this award to Michaela Bearflower and Iso Campana. Our last award for tonight goes to young musicians who play the chair as an outstanding soloist and performer, not only in the musical theater, but in all that they do. This young man and woman balance schoolwork and perfecting his or her music. It gives me great pride to present the Semper Fidelis Award to Gervais Pauli and Jonathan Hargraves. to present this award and recognize these young men and women. Um, to the class of 2023, wish you good luck in the future. God bless and Semper Fidelis. Good evening, everyone. My name is Lilibeth Mora, and I'm the FOSSE president. My name is Kelly Dixon. I'm the vice president of FOSSE. 
FASE is Filipino American Society for Education. It's a local nonprofit group that serves educators in our region and annually gives scholarships to our students. And so, but there's another component where we also, uh, we have donors and people who contribute to support students to be able to don both the U.S. flag and the Filipino flag. And so, it goes to two types of students. Either one, they uh, earned a scholarship that they applied for, or two, they uh, took up to three years of the Filipino language course here at Bethel with Ms. Marte. So we are going to start off with the students who have completed three years of Filipino language. Mikhail Abisamis. Malachi Atwell. Francesca Chanel Bueno. Janae Castro. Autobel Reese Cosme. Diana K. De Guzman. Danielle or Daniel Encarnacion. Julian Isaac Meneses. Vince Ramos. Patrick Carl Recio. Okay, the following student not only took three years of the Filipino language, but also earned the Calisto Piscano Scholarship. Calisto Piscano is an educator that passed away, and every year her son donates at least $5,000 to this group. And so this student, all of our scholarship awardees are getting $500 tonight, and the first one is Dustin J. Dizon. <laughs> Another awardee to, for the Calisto Piscano Scholarship is Rain Ramos. So the next scholarship awardee, we have actually the donor that's present today. I'd like to ask Colonel Nestor Liga to join us. Nestor Aliga and Dr. Rosanna Bordo Aliga Scholarship presented to Taylor De La Vega for the amount of $500. I'll keep the money, just kidding. <laughs> so the next scholarship awardees are to the, the scholarship is titled We're Here Because You Were There Scholarship sponsored by Buck Kemphausen, the owner of Skyview Memorial. The first one goes to Dylan DeLeon. <laughs> Michaela Miraflor. And the last awardee goes to Jonathan Hargraves. We have two more awardees, but we are going to hold them till later. For those of you who are the salutatorian and identify as Filipino, Filipino American, please see us after the event for a bonus scholarship for you. Thank you much. Uh, congratulations, class of 2023.
evening, everyone. My name is Honoré McElhatton, and I'm a member of Sir Optimus International in Vallejo. And very proud to be here tonight to tell you about our <coughs> excuse me, scholarship program and those Jesse Bethel seniors to whom we awarded scholarships. Sir Optimus International is an organization both locally, regionally, and internationally focused on the enhancement of women and girls to provide financial stability and um, improvement in life through the ticket of education. And to that effect, our club raises money so that we can award scholarships to outgoing high school seniors. And I'll introduce my fellow Sir Optimus, Liz Llewellyn, and Pat Suniga, and they'll tell you a bit more about our scholarship program. We actually had our in-person awards um, a week ago, and it was, uh, we had awarded 10 girls, um, and they split $33,000. They came from all of the local high schools in Vallejo. They all are residents of Vallejo. And it was wonderful to see them and their families. Um, we are going to give awards tonight. They've received this already once, but they can get it again. Um, the first awardee is Andrea Nash.
14 awardees, 14 kids have scholarship, seven received $500 at a minimum, and the other seven received $750 or $1,000. So every year we try to up it more and more that we have for our 50th year anniversary of our chapter that we have. Mr. Paul Davis is the president of our organization, as I stated earlier. We will be having events that you may have heard. We hope that you support us in our events because a lot of these things are uplifting our community and we're doing it for scholarship. We thank you very much. Just be patient for a second. We got to take pictures to mandate this to show to the national offices. <laughs> Let's let him give him this side of that. You come on the inside. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> young man, young man. Young man, go inside. Turn to the side. Everybody turn to the middle. All right. Okay, and the count of one million. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. And thank you for your patience. Good evening, my name is Matthew Olson. I'm a Deputy District Attorney in Solano County. I've been doing that for about 18 years here in Solano. Um, I've also been mentoring uh, students here at the Jesse Bethel uh, Law Academy for the uh, last uh, three or four years, so this campus holds a special place in my heart. I I'm the current president of the La Raza Lawyers Association of Solano County. Our association was founded about 23 years ago. We're a 501c3 nonprofit corporation. Uh, focused on philanthropy in the form of scholarships for Latino and Hispanic students in Solano County. Our scholarships are awarded based on academic performance, promise of achievement, community service, work experience, and financial need. Our program is designed to provide professional encouragement and public recognition to high school seniors of Latino and Hispanic heritage entering higher education, and perhaps most importantly, our scholarships are awarded irrespective of the student's immigration status. In 2023, our association was fortunate enough to uh, raise enough money to award eight individual scholarships of $1,000 each. Our uh, scholarships are funded entirely by donations from uh, the uh, Solano County uh, legal community. So many generous attorneys, many generous judges, they all donated to this cause this year and they did again uh, this year. Uh, and we also started a tradition this year, which I hope to continue, and that was one of our donations uh, one of our scholarships was entirely funded through donations from uh, employees at the Public Defender's Office, and another one was funded entirely uh, from donations from employees at the District Attorney's Office, so I'm very proud of that. Uh, although our awardees from this year came from schools from all over the county, I am pleased to report that uh, Jesse Bethel was the only school with not one, but two scholarship awardees this year. We had a scholarship dinner last week. Um, all of our students were honored. Uh, they were given certificates. They got their scholarship checks. They had a chance to uh, address a room full of judges, attorneys, um, mayors, city council members from all over the county. Uh, but I I'm proud to be here tonight to recognize once again our outstand outstanding awardees from Jesse Bethel High School. And those are Italia Romo Orozco and Zimena Vargas. On behalf of the La Raza Lawyers Association of Solano County, I want to say once again congratulations to you both and best of luck to you in your college careers. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, we're going to be giving 
certificates of completion to our graduating seniors, and also uh, certificates of excellence from the city of, of Vallejo. Could um, Colonel Nestor Aliga, please? Okay, so the first certificate's going to be to Cadet Seaman Recruit Janaya Benson. Next is to Cadet Seaman Recruit Flor Calderon. <laughs> the next is to Cadet Petty Officer Second Class Juan Campos Reyes. Next is to Cadet Petty Officer, 3rd Class Bobby Craig. Uh, the next is to Cadet Seaman Recruit, Daniela Gwen Baraton. Next is to Cadet Ensign Teodora de los Santos. The next is to Cadet Seaman Apprentice Victor Rangel. Uh, Mr. Rangel also gets a cord because of uh, the time he spent in our program. Okay, next is Cadet Petty Officer 2nd Class, Mikhail Abbasenos. I'm going to call forward uh, Petty Officer Jong, too. Could you bring your check? Okay, Cadet Abba Samus took advantage of a program that we have available uh, where if you're in our program for three years, you get to uh, enlist in the Navy at up to two pay grades advanced. So he um, is going to enlist as an E3 uh, seaman, as, as opposed to a, a seaman recruit, and he also got uh, a signing bonus. So would you like to speak? I'm Petty Officer Brian Jung. Uh, uh, actually, my responsibility for this Northern California, I'm coordinator for NROTC scholarship. Um, the NROTC unit of Jesse Bethel High School was provided great support to the Navy. And we are here to, to acknowledge the, the commitment the future service is putting into. So she, he, will, he will be in the medical, right? So he will be a medical hospital woman in the Navy seven for five years and then after that he will decide either keep pursuing creating the Navy or pursuing other option in the future. Congratulations. He also got a, a black stole because he's been one of our cadets for four years. Next is a cadet, uh, a certificate of completion to Cadet Lieutenant Heaven Alidio. Stole for being in our program for four years. Next is Cadet Ensign Kevin Hidalgo Trujillo. And he 
also earned his black stole. Next is Cadet Lieutenant Dane Kirk. And he will also receive a black stole. Okay, and last is Cadet Ensign Joshua Andres Tabata. And he also earned the black stole. And before you leave, um, Cadet Tabata applied for a special scholarship that is only available to graduating seniors of Navy Junior ROTC uh, program. They only compete with other NJROTC seniors. They don't go into the national pool. And he was offered a um, $180,000 scholarship. <laughs> State University of New York Maritime College. I'd like to call Cadet Lieutenant Dane Kirk. Dane Kirk was also offered a State University of New York Maritime College scholarship. And Colonel Oliga, if you could do the honors, he was also offered a scholarship to the U.S. Military Academy Preparatory School. Scholarship for the Naval Academy Preparatory School. And, and finally, he was offered a scholarship for the U.S. Merchant Marine Academy. All by himself, he did over a million dollars in scholarship offers. scholarship offers this year.
<laughs> Don't tell nobody. So how, that, how it works is um, the coaches nominate players uh, that they've coached throughout the year, two, three years, and then I get, the, I get all the results, tally them up, and then we come up with it's a pretty simple, uh, foolproof plan. But again, we've had over 500 students that are playing student, are student athletes. They've got to keep up their grades, and which they do. Otherwise, they're sitting next to me. Um, they train two plus hours a day. They compete on a regular basis, and they, and they actually represent our school when we go out places. And we're very proud of our student athletes going out and representing them, themselves, our school, at, in, uh, down in the Bay Area, down in, at St. Mary's High School, at Hercules. Van and High School, where we go compete, it's, it's a, a, thing, a, a little bit of PR for us. And we want to have good PR, and these are some of the athletes that, that represent our school. I have two coaches that are going to come up, they're going to present the awards to their athletes and get a check. <laughs> Anybody want to get a check? Hey, way to go. All right, it's our honor to uh, recognize these two athletes for their dedication, hard work, and also uh, countless hours and anxiety as they um, participated in a sale of these sports. The first one we're going to represent is Diego Pomipic, who our male student athlete. <laughs> Diego, a sport athlete, he played football, basketball, and baseball, did well in all three, and um, he was actually a varsity player for us for the last two years. He's not here. His mom's here, though. So we're going to give it to you. <laughs> this next athlete actually wins two awards. She is our Scholar Athlete Award winner, which means that she had one of the highest GPAs in our athletics department altogether. And she's also the uh, Female Athlete of the Year. She ran track for us, and she also ran cross country for us here at Jesse Bethel. Um, let me introduce Miss Jimena Vargas. <laughs> Interesting thing about Jimena, we had to check the braces for the, uh, the athletic award. We couldn't find a beat, so we had to like go back to like eighth grade or something to find a beat on the transfer. But we're very proud of them and the uh, effort that they give forth to our school and um, the Jesse Bethel athletic program. Vice Principal Soto couldn't be here this evening. She has another event to attend to. So on her behalf, I will be um, presenting the Golden State Seal Merit Diploma. My name is Mark DeMesso, Vice Principal at Jesse Bethel High School. Just a little bit about the Golden State Seal Merit Diploma. It was established in 1997. Provides recognition to public school graduates who have demonstrated mastery of the high school curriculum in various subject areas. To receive the Golden Seal Merit Diploma, students must be eligible to receive a high school diploma and must have demonstrated mastery in at least six subject areas. The six subject areas are English, Mathematics, U.S. History, and two subject areas selected by the student. The following graduating students have been identified as Golden State Seal Merit Diploma recipients, and a Golden State Seal Merit will be stamped on each student's diploma and transcript. So as I call your name, can each student please come forward to the front of the stage? And please just keep standing until we announce all the names, okay? First one is Jarrell Abella. <laughs> Pamela Abis Abimas Abisamis. Sorry. Victor Calderon Abrego. Dylan Sanchez Aguilar. Albari Abdul Rahman. Evan 
Olivio. Malachi Atwell. Raphael Batan. Jose Mendoza Blancas. Philip Bernard Borja. Francesca Chanel Bueno. Enzo Campana. Juan Reyes Campos. Ethan Andrew Canaya. Paulina Perez Castaneda. Davion Castro. Natalia Castro. Noah Castro. Daniel Zamora Ceballos. Ophelia Coral. Arabel Reese Cosme. Brendalyn Cunningham. Teodora De Los Santos. Diana K. De Guzman. Delvin De La Rosa. Dylan De Leon. Dustin J. Dizon. Taylor Enriquez. Ruby Andrick Espinosa. Sharon Mercado Estrada. Victoria Evangelista. Crystal Arroyo Ferrer. Amy Gallardo. Malia Garcia. Andrea Garrido. Jonathan Hargraves. Alondra Sanchez Hernandez. Monica Hollandez. Novea James. Asia Johnson, Dane Kirk, Aubrey Chow Lamontri, April Joy Laron, Kyla Nalani Layu, Joseph. Jimenez Lona, Kaden James Myfield, Isabel Martinez, Ruby Melgarejo, Shaden Mendiola. We're almost there, folks. Stephanie Rodriguez Mendoza. <laughs> Julian Isaac Menenses. <laughs> Madison Mercado. <laughs> Michaela Miraflor. <laughs> Brian Moreno. Ruthie Ann Jane Nandes. Andrea Nash. Aliyah Padilla. Vanya Pao Pao. 
Tashimi Parker. Bianca Leanne Pettidol. Jessere Pole. Noel Peltabear. I apologize for mispronouncing your name. Grilene Pilipil. Maximilian Powell. Alina Prescott. Alyssa Prohio. Taylor Quinn. Queen, I'm sorry, Taylor Queen. Robin Humphrey Quinones. Carlos Gernard Ramos. John Lawrence Ramos. Ray Luis Ramos. Jessica Aguirre Rodriguez. Laura Torres Rojas. Ashley Fern Romero. Dali Orozco Romo. Jasmine Ann Santiago. Sofia Del Santiago. Brianna Santos. Sofia Shaw. Sanji Singh. Grace Tom Thompson. <laughs> Olga Vasquez. <laughs> Marissa Sabia Vila. <laughs> Isabella White. <laughs> and last but not least, Rosalind Coronado Zamudio. All right, thank you all for standing, and this is an opportunity for you all to take a picture of all the ones who received the Golden State Single Bear Diploma. Congratulations, y'all. All right, y'all may be seated, thank you. Hello again. <laughs> we have some uh, outstanding students who have been recognized by each department that we have here, whether it's mathematics, science, art. So those are just a few. But I want to recognize um, students who have been outstanding in the subject area. And I'm going to announce several names that have been recognized by um, the departments. So the first one that I want to call up here is for in recognition of AP or Advanced Placement, which is one of our highest courses that we that a student can take here um, at Jesse Bethel. We have our first recognition go to Takara Bryant from AP Art. For Advanced Placement Bio or Biology, we have Andrea Nash. Congratulations. For AP Calculus, we have Madison Mercado.
for AP Chemistry, we have Michaela Miraflor. For AP Computer Science, we have Einzel Campana. For AP English Literature, Again, we have Michaela Miraflor. For AP Government, we have Dylan DeLeon. For AP Macroeconomics, Dustin Dizon. For AP Physics, Olga Vasquez. For AP Spanish, we have Idali Orozco Romo. For AP Spanish. For AP Statistics, we have Julian Menenses. And that is all, folks. So thank you. Congratulations to everyone that received the award. Outstanding investments. Next, we have Rafael Baton. 
he will be receiving the President's Outstanding Academic Excellence Gold. He is summa cum laude and he was a PAC program participant. He will be attending Napa Valley College in the fall. Next we have Elijah Bautista Moore. He will be attending Solano Community College in the fall and he is receiving the President's Outstanding Academic Achievement Silver. He is summa cum laude and he participated in varsity tennis. Next we have Venicia Botello. She will be attending Solano Community College. She is receiving the President's Outstanding Academic Excellence Gold. She has cum laude, she participated in the Law Academy, and she was an intern at Judge Healy's office. Yeah. Next we have Takara Bryant. She will be attending Alabama State University in the fall. She is receiving the President's Outstanding Academic Excellence Gold. She is magna cum laude. She participated in varsity softball. She was also part of the Black Student Union and she was a social media manager. She was also in Law Academy and she was an ASU Promise Scholarship recipient. Good job to you. Next we have Francesca Chanel Bueno. She will be attending Dominican University in the fall. She will be receiving the President's Outstanding Academic Excellence Gold. She is summa cum laude. She was a part of the KJBJ club. She was a graphic design lead. She participated in varsity soccer. She was a PAC program participant. She was also in the clinical medical assistant program and she is a merit scholarship recipient. Next, we have Davion Castro. He intends to major in civil engineering. He is receiving the President's Outstanding Academic Excellence Gold. He is summa cum laude. He participated in varsity football. He was also a TCAL Wrestling League champion and in varsity track. <laughs> Next, we have Daniel Cabello Zamora. He is receiving the President's Outstanding Academic Achievement Silver, and he intends to go to San Francisco State in the fall. <laughs> Next we have Arabelle Reese Cosme. She intends to go to Solano Community College for nursing. She is receiving the President's Outstanding Academic Excellence Gold. She is summa cum laude, and she participated in the Clinical Medical Assistant Program. Next we have Bobby Craig. He will be receiving the President's Outstanding Academic Achievement Silver. He was a cross country captain. He was also a part of track and field long distance and he was a PAC program participant. <laughs> Next we have Brenda Lynn Cunningham. She intends to go to Sacramento State University. She is receiving the President's Outstanding Academic Excellence Gold. She is cum laude. She was also in varsity wrestling, and she was the Vice President for Crochet Club. <laughs> Next we have Kellis Davis. She intends to go to Napa, Napa Valley College for journalism, and she is receiving the President's Outstanding Academic Achievement Silver. Please. Oh, it was police. Next we have Delmi De Leon. She plans to take a gap year, but in the meantime, she is receiving the President's Outstanding Academic Achievement Silver Award. Good job. Uh, I apologize with this name. I have Ms. Dick Guzman. She intends to go to Solano Community College. She is receiving the President's Outstanding Academic Excellence Gold. She is magna cum laude. She participated in volleyball, softball. She was also in KJBJ, and she was homecoming lady. <laughs> Deanna K. De Guzman. Next we have Angel De La Garza. He plans to go to Cal Regional, and he is receiving the President's Outstanding Academic Achievement Silver. Next, we have Dylan DeLeon. He will be receiving the President's Outstanding Academic Excellence Gold. He is summa cum laude. He was the varsity wrestling captain. 
KJ BJ Club officer and a two-time league champion. <laughs> Next we have Dustin J. He will be attending a San Jose State University. He is receiving the President's Outstanding Academic Excellence Gold. He is summa cum laude. He was part of Varsity Volleyball. He was the president of KJBJ Radio, and he is the vice president for National Honor Society. <laughs> Next, we have Andrik Espinosa Ruby. He intends to be an entrepreneur. Um, as of right now, he has his own little business. Um, look him up. <laughs> Uh, he is receiving the President's Outstanding Academic Excellence Gold. He is summa cum laude. He also participated in varsity tennis, and like I mentioned, he is very proud of his bounce house business. <laughs> Next we have Sharon Escada Mercado. She will be attending Solano Community College in the fall. She will receiving the President's Outstanding Academic Excellence Gold. She is magna cum laude, and she participated in marching band. <laughs> Next we have Ariana Eufemio. She intends to go to community college in the fall. She is receiving the President's Outstanding Academic Excellence Gold. She is cum laude, and she was a participant in the Certified Medical Assistant Program. <laughs> We have Victoria Evangelista. She plans to uh, go to the Academy of Art of University, well, Academy of Art University, and she is receiving the President's Outstanding Academic Achievement Silver. <laughs> Next, we have Sir William Fisher. He plans to do a trade school in the fall, most likely UTI, and he is receiving the President's Outstanding Academic Achievement Silver. He participated in varsity football, and he was captain. He was captain of varsity wrestling. He was a part of tennis, and he was also a PAC program participant. <laughs> Next, we have Krista Ferrer Arroyo. She plans to go to Arizona State University in the fall. She is receiving the President's Outstanding Academic Excellence Gold. She is getting summa cum laude. She was the varsity wrestling captain. She was also president of the Coro Shea Club. She was a lieutenant for the Firefighter Youth Academy, a Starbucks Achievement Program recipient, and a PAC program participant. Next, we have Aaliyah Garcia. She intends to go to San Jose State in the fall. She is receiving the President's Outstanding Academic Excellence Gold. She was receiving cum laude, and she was in varsity softball. <laughs> Next, we have Andrea Garrido. She intends to go to Diego Valley College in the fall. She is receiving the President's Outstanding Academic Excellence Gold. She is summa cum laude. She was part of varsity volleyball, impact program participant, treasurer for KJBJ Radio, and she was a lead for Journalism Club. <laughs> Next we have Victor Rangel. He is receiving the President's Outstanding Academic Achievement Silver. He was part of NJROTC and Marching Band. Next, we have Osfari Gomez. They attempt to go to Solano Community College in the fall. They are receiving the President's Outstanding Academic Achievement Silver. They participated in Certified Medical Assistant Program, and they love to be a part of dance. <laughs> Next, we have Jonathan Hargraves. He is attending the University of California, Davis. He is receiving President's Outstanding Academic Excellence Gold. He is receiving cum laude. He is a Willie B. Atkins Scholar, who is a part of Upward Bound, and he also participated in varsity wrestling and varsity football. <laughs> Next, we have Sterling Henderson. She intends to go to San Francisco State University in the fall. She is receiving the President's Outstanding Academic Excellence Gold. She is getting cum laude. She was a student body president. She is a Alpha Kappa Alpha debutante, debutante. 
a Deloitte B. Atkins Scholar, and a Certified Medical Assistant Program Participant, and a PAC Program Participant as well. <laughs> Next we have Jenna Henry. She intends to go to Dominican University of California. She is receiving the President's Outstanding Academic Excellence Gold. She's getting cum laude. She is a first generation college student. She is a certified medical assistant program participant. She is also receiving many scholarships and she is a PAC program participant. <laughs> Next we have Alondra Hernandez Sanchez. She intends to go to Solano Community College. She is receiving the President's Outstanding Academic Achievement Silver. She was part of the Certified Medical Assistant Program. She was a La Clinica volunteer and a PAC program participant. <laughs> Next we have Monica Holandez. She intends to go to Solano Community College. She is receiving the President's Outstanding Academic Excellence Gold and she is cum laude. Next we have Nevaeh James. They are going to Benedict College in the fall. They are receiving the President's Outstanding Academic Excellence Gold. They are magna cum laude. They were the Secretary for the Black Student Union, the Senior Officer for Leadership. They were also a part of tennis and the Black Girls Support Network. Next we have Dane Kirk. He will be attending Naval Academy in the fall. He is receiving the President's Outstanding Academic Excellence Gold. He is cum laude. He was the drill team captain for NJROTC. And he is a Naval Academy Scholarship recipient and a Sunny Maritime NPP Scholarship recipient as well. <laughs> Next we have Kayla. Layu. She will be attending Diablo Valley College in the fall. She is receiving the President's Outstanding Academic Excellence Gold. She is magna cum laude and she was the videography lead for KJBJ Radio. And then we have Jalen Madison. They intend to go to University of California Merced. They are receiving the President's Outstanding Academic Achievement Award, Silver. And they also were a participant in Taekwondo. <laughs> Next we have Mr. Demessa presenting awards as well. Thank you, Mrs. Regina. So the first one up is Marissa Via Sabia. She's receiving the President's Outstanding Academic Excellence Gold and Cum Laude. Congratulations. Next we have Finley McVeigh. She's attending Napa Valley College or Napa, yeah, Napa Valley Community College. President's, she's receiving the President's Outstanding Academic Excellence Gold, Cum Laude. She's participating in girls soccer and she also participated in the track and field. <laughs> Next we have Madison Mercado. She's attending Cal State East Bay. She's President's uh, Outstanding, Ex Outstanding Academic Excellence Gold. She's Summa Cum Laude. She's also certified, certified Medical Assistant Program and she was also a participant of the Academic Decathlon. <laughs> Next we have Aaliyah Miller. She's President's Outstanding Academic Excellence Gold, Cum Laude, National Honor Society President, Varsity Soccer, Alpha Kappa Alpha, Miss Fashionista Recipient, and Bay Area Youth Climate Outreach Social Media Co-Lead. <laughs> Next we have Michaela Miraflor. She's president, uh, receiving the President's Outstanding Academic Excellence Gold, Summa Cum Laude, General C, Scholarship Recipient, Certified Medical Assistant Program, uh, finished, and she's also attending Dominican University of California. <laughs> Next we have Brian Moreno. He is attending San Jose State University. He's receiving the President's Outstanding Academic Excellence Gold, Cum Laude, and he was participating in varsity soccer.
Next we have Andrea Nash, receiving the President's Outstanding Academic Excellence Gold, cum laude, recipient of Willie B. Will B. Atkins Scholar, Certified Medical Assistance Program, Soroptimist Scholarship Recipient and PAC Program Participant, where she'll be attending UC Merced. We also have uh, Kiani Rani Masutuno. She's receiving the President's Outstanding Academic Achievement Silver. She's varsity softball, volleyball, president of Polynesian Club, PAC program participant, and she has finished the Law Academy program. <laughs> Next we have Isabella White. President's Outstanding Excellence, Academic Excellence Gold, Cum Laude, Black Student Union President, National Honor Society, Marching Band Section Leader, and she's attending in the fall at Tuskegee University. Next we have Grace Thompson. She's receiving the President's Outstanding Academic Excellence Gold, Summa Cum Laude, Color Guard, Track and Field Captain, Certified Medical Assistance Program, National Honor Society, Black Student Union Vice President, Presidential Scholarship Recipient, and she's attending Russell Sage College. <laughs> Next we have Tashimi Parker. He will be attending Tuskegee University. He's received the President's Outstanding Ac Academic Excellence Award, Gold, Summa Cum Laude, Black Student Union, Law Academy, PAC Program Participant, Intern at the Office of Judge Healy, Track and Field Captain, and Presidential Scholarship Recipient. <laughs> Next we have Jessery Paule. She'll be attending Salama Community College. She's receiving the President's Outstanding Academic Excellence Gold, Summa Cum Laude, Marching Band Drum Major, Percussion Captain, Concert Band, and also receiving the uh, our participant at the Salado County Honor Band. <laughs> Next we have Noel Petalvar, Bear, Petalvar, I'm sorry. He will be attending Sac State. He's receiving the President's Outstanding Academic Excellence Gold and Cum Laude. <laughs> Next we have Liliana Ponce Sigala. She'll be attending Napa Valley College and she'll be receiving the President's Outstanding Academic Achievement Silver. <laughs> Next we have Maximilian Powell. He's receiving the President's Outstanding Academic Excellence Gold and the Cum Laude. Minas Prescott, she will be attending San Francisco State University. She's receiving the President's Outstanding Academic Excellence Goal, Magna Cum Laude, and participant for the PAC program. <laughs> Next we have Alyssa Porrillo. She'll be attending Solano Community College, President's Outstanding Academic Excellence Goal, Cum Laude, Varsity Volleyball, she's the captain, and she's also a participant of KJPJ, and she's also Parsing Track. <laughs> Next we have Genesis Estes. <laughs> she's receiving the President's Outstanding Academic Achievement Silver. She finished Law Academy, and she's a participant for the PAC program. <laughs> Next we have Rain Luis Ramos. She's, she's receiving the President's Outstanding Academic Ex Excellence Goal, Summa Cum Laude, Cl Club Strike Internship Program. She's a participant for the PAC program, and she's be she'll be attending UC Davis uh, for undergraduate sociology. <laughs> Next we have Scott Michael Reagan Tucker. He will be attending Napa Valley College, and he'll be receiving the President's Outstanding Academic Achievement, Silver.
Next we have Fern Ashley Romero. She will be attending Sacramento State University. Present, she'll be receiving the President's Outstanding Academic Excellence Goal, Mag Magna Cum Laude Marching Band. She's also joined the Concert Band, Drumline, Brass, Section Lead, and Sacramento State School of Music Scholarship recipient. <laughs> Next we have Idali Romo Orozco. She will be attending University of California, Los Angeles, UCLA. She'll be receiving the President's Outstanding Academic Excellence Gold. She's a recipient of the Serapimus Scholarship. She's participated in Upward Bound. She's also a ballet folklorico dancer, and she's also participated in the La Raza Unida Club. <laughs> Next we have Jasmine Ann Santiago. She will be attending Pacific Uni College. She'll be receiving the President's Outstanding Academic Excellence Goal, summa cum laude, varsity, tennis, and she's also a leadership student. Congratulations. Next we have Sofia Del Santiago. She'll be attending Pacific Uni College. She's receiving the President's Outstanding Academic Excellence Goal, summa cum laude. She's a varsity tennis player, and she's also a leadership student. We have Rosalind Zamidio Coronado. She'll be attending Solano Community College. President's Outstanding Academic, Academic Excellence Goal, Cum Laude. She was the captain of varsity soccer, and she was a participant of the PAC program. And then we have Bernard Philip Borja. He will be attending Salado Community College. He'll be receiving the President's Outstanding Academic Achievement Silver. All right, thank you. Okay, uh, Sophia Shaw. She'll be attending UC Davis. She's President's Outstanding Academic Excellence Gold, Super Cum Laude, and Long Internship. <laughs> St. James Singh, he's President's Outstanding Academic Excellence Gold, Summa Cum Laude, He'll be attending Solano Community College. <laughs> Joshua Tabata, he's President's Outstanding Academic Achievement Silver, NJROTC, and he'll be attending Cal Maritime Academy. Kaylin Tickner, she's President's Outstanding Academic Achievement Silver. She'll be attending Solano Community College. <laughs> Alvin Erzuba, he's President's Outstanding Academic Achievement Silver. He's a clinical medical assistant program, and he'll be attending Solano Community College. Zamina Vargas, she's President's Outstanding Academic Excellence Gold, Magna Cum Laude, Seraphina Scholarship recipient, Track and Field Captain, Color Guard, Marching Band, and PAC Program participant. Okay, Olga Vasquez, she'll be attending Dominican University. She's President Outstanding Academic Excellence Gold, Summa Cum Laude, Robin McAfee Firefighter, Academy Cadet, Youth on Safety and Wellness Producer, Certified Clinical Medical Assistant Program, Musician, and Acoustic Guitar. Okay, Julian Menaces, uh, President's Outstanding Academic Excellence Gold, Summa Cum Laude, and Varsity Tennis.
and Dylan Medlock Tucker, its president's outstanding academic achievement silver. Isabel Martinez, President's Outstanding Academic Excellence Gold, Summa Cum Laude, and National Honor Society. <laughs> Jose Blancas Mendoza, President's Outstanding Academic Excellence Gold, Cum Laude, and Varsity Wrestling. Okay, these students have maintained a GPA over th from 3.5 to 3.799, which makes them cum laude. Okay, so they're going to come up here and get their medals. So as I call your name, remain up here a while. Mr. Udobia and Ms. Kahina, uh, put your medals on. So the first person is Ion King, Charmaine Junio, Ariana Infono, Scott Reagan Tucker, Haven Elidio, Laura Rojas, Venicia Patello, Juan Campos, Robert Marshall V, Noel Pettivall, Brendan Cunningham, <laughs> Cassidy I. Leah, Jonathan Hargraves, <laughs> Jessica Rodriguez, Andrea Nash, <laughs> Philly McVee, Marissa Vila, Jarrell Labella, Jenna Henry, Sterling Henderson, Jose Blancas, Louis Bryson, Gabrielle Cortez, Valerie Deanda, Vanilla Papa. Bianca Pepidel, Rosalind Zamudio, Ethan Kanea, Monica Hernandez, Brian Marino, Taylor Enriquez, Ophella Corral, Isabella White, Maximilian Powell, Zamina Vargas, Abdul Rahim Albauri, Alea Garcia, Nevea James, and Aaliyah Miller.
Okay, congratulations. Okay, now the following students are magna cum laude. Okay, they have maintained a 3.8 GPA to 3.9 GPA throughout their four years of high school. Okay, so the first student is Dana Kirk, Alina Padilla, Alyssa Perillo, Victor Abrego, Robin Quinnos, Theodore De Los Santos, Takara Bryant, Brianna Santos, Noah Castro, Ruthie Ann Nanales, John Lawrence Ramos, Amina Prescott, David Leek de Guzman, Joseph Lana Jimenez, Aubrey Lamonte Choi, LaAsia Johnson, Carlos Ramos, Kayla Leo, Sharon Estrada, Natalia Castro, April Joy Laron, Taylor Queen, Fern Ashley Romero. Okay, congratulations. Okay, the following students are summa cum laude. They have maintained a 4.0 GPA. Okay, at least a 4.0 GPA in their four years here at Bethlehem. Okay, the first student is Shaden Mendiola. Kayla Mills, Tashami Parker, Gabrielle Santos, Melanie Rodriguez, Sophia Schull, Andrea Espinosa, Arabelle Cosme, Julian Menezes, Jasmine Santiago, Rafael Baton, Francesca Bueno, Jezre Paul, Dylan Aguilar, Sanjeev Singh, Emily Ramo, Andrea Garrido, Michaela Miraflor, Crystal Frere, Grace Thompson, Thelma Abbasimus, Rain Ramos, Isabella Martinez, Sophia Santiago, Dustin Dizan, Madison Mercado, Anzio. Capella, Devion Castro, Dylan DeLeon, and Ogo Vasquez.
Okay, congratulations. Okay, next up is our principal, Ms. Wallenweber, to announce the class valedictorian and salutatorian. Thank you, Mr. Jones. I have the honor of announcing the salutatorian and the valedictorian for the class of 2023. One thing that is special about this class is we actually had a tie, a dead tie for salutatorian. There was no way to distinguish between the two, so we're going to honor and recognize both of them. First up, we have Dylan De Leon. Come on up. Congratulations, Dylan. Dylan had a 4.27 GPA, clocking out at a 4.27. We'll be attending the University of California at San Diego. Nicely done, and congratulations. We're gonna have you stay up here, okay? Tying with a GPA of 4.27, Mr. Davion Castro. Come on up, Damian. Congratulations. Damian will be majoring in civil engineering, but has declined to share where he will be attending school at this time. Still making decisions. <laughs> okay, I thought so. Also going to the University of California at San Diego. Nicely done. Congratulations to our two salutatorians. 
Our valedictorian maintained a 4.35 GPA. Give it up for Miss Olga Congratulations, Olga. Nicely done. She will be attending the Dominican University. All right, photo opportunity. We're ready. Smile for the camera, Olga. Stay up here, smile. Never shot. All right, congratulations, great job. gentlemen, we are going to be concluding our program for tonight, but let's give it up one more time for our class of 2023. Congratulations to you all. Job well done. Thank you for coming. Thank you for all your work. Refreshments in the student union right through that door.